Hey, welcome, welcome. Got something else going on. Uh, let me give you a look at what we're doing. Here's my Prius. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've seen it. Uh, I've had this uh, since it had 22,000 miles on it. And uh, I've made some other videos of different things I've done to it. But today, if you watched one of my videos, I had the FIXD, the fixed, on it to keep up with the maintenance. But I found something different. I found this here. This Bluetooth OBD2 scanning tool. I got this on eBay. It was $16 shipping and all. And uh, comes with a little book or a manual how to set it up. But this plugs into the to the OBD2 jack up under the dash, you know, same place where I had the fix. It's dark up into here, but but uh, it's here, right? There. Okay. And so it works pretty much like the fix does, but the fix wouldn't keep up with the battery. And that's what you worry about the most on these Priuses is the hybrid battery and the 12 volt battery. Well, with this uh, tool, uh, see, I've got the fix on there. I've still got it on my other car. But uh, this app here is uh, Torque Pro. And over here I've got my Wi-Fi. I'm actually using one of my old cell phones to put stuff like this on. So I don't have it on my regular phone. But you know, you can put it wherever you want. But anyway, here's what this Tor Torque Pro looks like. Now they have a Torque Light. But it don't do as much as, as this Pro. And, uh, and see here, now I set this up last night. And I don't know how much of that will show. But here's all my uh, voltages for all the batteries in my main hybrid battery. Now, of course, it's uh, I haven't got the car started up. But when I put it in the car and start it up. Uh, it will show you all the voltages. So that way, you know when something's going bad with your battery before it goes bad. So you can do something about it before you left stranded. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to uh, take and plug this in. There you can see if you, if you want to get you one of them. And like I said, I got this on eBay for $16 and the app the app that you buy to put these things on is $4.99 on uh, Google Play so there I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it up now okay that's it there hooked up with all the lights flashing now uh, it sticks down there. They they sell others on eBay. They're supposed to do the same thing. But this one's made in the United States and all. And I'm not going to leave it in the car. I'm just going to hook it up when I want to check it. Now, if you was going to leave it in one of the cars, you might try one of the ones that, that are shorter. Uh, but I think they light up and stuff. And Anyway, this is the way I went about it. Okay. And start the car up. All right. And let's get the other phone here. And uh, close the door here so we don't have as much noise. got this and let's go to the uh, 
app here. Now when it's working, we got two reflections coming down. Uh, a little airplane. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a satellite. I don't know what it is. It flashes, but when you see the car lit up solid, the little bl blue car, then uh, you know it's connected with Bluetooth. Say a command. There, there's my navigation going off. Navigation's listening to me talk, I guess. Exit. Okay. Cut that off. Probably come back on. But anyway, uh, it gives you uh, instructions on how to do this, and you can find on YouTube, and they've got a website that they have videos that show you how to hook this up. Uh, but basically, you just load your app, and then uh, you set up a profile of the car where it says profile Prius and you basically you just put the weight of the car uh, the liter engine and uh, the type of car and all that that way the app knows uh, what car it's dealing with okay let's go to here now you can this this will uh, pick up a lot of things but I was just mainly interested in the hybrid battery but you can put these little uh, pods, or whatever you want to call them, apps, on here. You notice here that my 12-volt uh, my battery is 14 volts, so that's good. And that Delta SDC, that should be as low as possible, which is zero, so mine's good. Oh, let's see here. The fan. That's something you kind of want to know if it's working or not. And it's zero. So that's good. And then the high voltage charge is 14.0. These are the things I think it's important with the Prius to know of. And this is the first time I've actually looked at the voltage working. I got this going last, last night. Looks like all of them are on 15 something. So... I think 17 is perfect. Uh, so this is a 2005 Prius. And uh, they're just almost 16. So it's down about one vote on every one of them equally. Which would probably be about right for a Prius that's got... Uh, can you see that? A hundred... 24,000 miles on it. 124,000 miles. So, this is... I like this for a Prius. Now, the Fix, the F-I-X-D, that I made a video before, you couldn't, you couldn't see all this stuff individually like this. And this was... I was out about $16 for it. And, uh, like I said, I'm just going to hook it up whenever I, you know, once a month or something other, whenever I want to, and uh, just check this. And there's a lot of other things you can check, too. You can put these little uh, pods or apps. Uh, there's another page here, a blank page. You can fill this up with them of anything you think that's important. Throttle body, uh, anything you can think of. But this is all I wanted it for. So, pretty neat. Well, I see the voltage or the engine started up. It went up to 16 on all of them. So, you know, I'm okay there. But I think if you were uh, had a brand new battery, it'd probably be 17 something. But, uh, like I said, with 124 thousand miles on it that's probably pretty good and I had I had put a new uh, auxiliary battery on there I didn't really need it but I got I kept hearing a beep and I was checking everything and I thought it was the uh, the battery getting the 12 volt battery getting low 
But anyway, I bought a new battery and everything, and it turned out it was my garage door opener beeping up overhead. The battery was low in head. <laughs> so anyway, I have bought a new battery that I probably didn't need. After checking it, the voltage was, I think, about 11-something on the, the battery I got. I still got it out in the garage. Uh, but anyway, I've already changed it. It checks perfect there. All right, I guess I'm rambling on now. But anyway, I'm going to try it. If anything turns out on this I don't like, I'll let you know. But if you're worried about your battery on a Prius, try this out. Not a lot of money there, and you'll know exactly how, how all your cells in your battery are doing. All these cells are supposed to be equal. They call it balanced. You'll hear them say balanced. All the voltages are supposed to be pretty close to the same and be balanced. And uh, like I said, mine's down about a volt with 124,000 miles on it. So I should be good, you know, for a while. All right. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. And if you want to hit like if you got a question or a comment or uh, but hit like ring the bell and you'll be notified when I have another video and uh, and of course uh, subscribe you know uh, that let me that lets me know who who is watching and if you've got a channel I'll subscribe to you because I watch YouTube a lot I watch it more than regular TV, so I always like something interesting to watch. Thanks for watching.